Citrulline is so overused. It's in every single pre-workout out there. And for the difference in power, you know, if you get the same result between one that's a gram and a half and one that is you know, almost six times that, uh, Neutralogene is much more powerful and much more useful than, than citrulline. Welcome to Price Plow. All right, so the science on nitrosgene versus citrulline mali is finally released in full. Um, back in October, we reported on the results of the study, but uh, just recently the full study was released with the methods and, uh, and all the numbers and everything. So here to give you guys a very, very quick video on what happened in the study, uh, my thoughts on it, and maybe a little bit of a takeaway, uh, my, I think, unique perspective on the study from me. So for your visual representation, I have I have two, well I have three mason jars here, but we'll get to the third in a second. Two mason jars, one containing, I'm going to try to f make this as level as possible, 1.5 grams of nitrosgene, almost literally no powder in there, versus 8 grams of citrulline malate. Now these were the t two main studied groups in this study. 1.5 grams of nitrosgene, arginine, silicate, and inositol, versus uh, two to one ratio, citrulline malate, obviously not bonded. We've talked about that a lot. I'm not going to get into that too much here, but uh, it was just citrulline mixed with malic acid, which is six grams of citrulline to two grams of malic acid. What were the results? So they had uh, 24 individuals in the study. There were 16 men, eight women. Uh, they were all dosed out, I believe, three times. And there was a group for nitrosgene, a group for citrulline malate, and a group for a uh, dextrose placebo. And when studied, uh, they, they measured their vasodilation uh, through flow-mediated dilation. Well, we're going to shorten short that to FMD for today. Uh, through FMD, they found that the nitrosgene group had a 23% increase, uh, 20, 25% for citrulline malate, so a slight increase, but negligible in the whole scheme of things. And the dextrose group obviously had, I think, 0.1% increase. So they scaled that for the supplement times the time related. They scaled that somehow, but uh, that, that's the numbers that were reported. So 23 to 25%. Uh, and the conclusion was that it's almost negligible, the difference between the two of them. Uh, a lot of uh, people viewing the study, a lot of, I mean, even, I'll, I'll shout out my buddy here, Drew Peters, Director of Scientific Affairs for Dragon Pharma, even came out and said, citrulline is so overused, it's in every single pre-workout out there, and for the difference in power, you know, if you get the same result between one that's a gram and a half and one that is, you know, almost six times that, uh, nitrosgene is much more powerful and much more useful than, than citrulline. And uh, that is true. I mean, in my opinion, I can agree with that. It's definitely more powerful gram for gram. We can definitely say that. Uh, I'm going to kind of uh, say on my own unique perspective, though, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't have a group that combined the two because I want to know at what point when we combine these things, are they not linear anymore? Um, with a lot of these pre-workouts, we're combining ingredients that have never been studied together on the effects that when you take them together, what happens? So um, I'm a little bit disappointed in what happened with that, that we don't really know, hey, well, they both do the same thing, the same amount, but if we put them together, is it two plus two equals four, or are we getting three out of this because they're the same, you know, actual uh, effect on vasodilation. So anyway, for, but food for thought here, I also wanted to pull out uh, a gram and a half of nitrogen again, um, but I talked about how citrulline malate, and that was a two to one ratio with malic acid. This is actually really what was, the active ingredient in there, six grams of citrulline um, as compared to the eight grams of citrulline malate. So it's still more powerful, right? We're still talking about a, a lot more power or power per gram. But um, the real thing in here is, is, you know, is citrulline gonna be on its way out because of the study? I don't really necessarily think so. I think that citrulline is just way too recognizable for consumers. Uh, anyone who's into supplements at a base level knows that citrulline causes pumps. Nitrosgene is still on its way up. It's been around for a little bit. Um, it's personally my favorite pump ingredient because it's like this study shows. You don't need a lot of it to get a good result and it also lasts a long time. If you wanna check out my podcast with David Sandler, we talk about the recovery benefits of it post-workout because it continues to increase blood flow, um, which is another adv advantage of it over citrulline is the long-term effect of it. Uh, but overall, I don't think citrulline is going to be going anywhere. I would, I mean, I, I said this to Nutrition 21 when I had lunch with them. I'd like to see more of these ingredients studied together. I think it would only benefit 
Nutrition 21 to study their ingredient with popular ingredients because it would give supplement companies more data, more claims to be able to utilize when you put these ingredients together. But uh, not a lot of new information here, just a little bit more on how the study was actually done, what the numbers re results were uh, getting released. Wanted to make sure I got this video out to you guys, so if you, know, if you aren't watching the studies coming out, you can be notified of it, get my take on it. But I'll also have the blog post linked below with the study on it because I know all, you know, I'd say probably 20% of you guys don't even care what I have to say and you just like to rebuttal everything that I post. But go read it for yourself. Go to, let me know and comment below. What do you think about the study? Are you a fan of citrulline? Are you a fan of nitrogen? Do you hate both of them? What, what is your thoughts on it? So anyway, guys, short little video today. Thanks so much for tuning in and checking it out. Um, enjoy your pumps and the ingredients. And I'm glad we have a little bit more information. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.